Hey there so everyone, welcome back to second here. video of our already explained the basic series the IO type the first of video, so we will learn how to initialize our inside our more of the core core database, right? So in this video, we will learn how to do read and write operations to our table, right? So we will be doing the backend code and main activity. So by the end of this video, we will be able to write the values to our table and we will be able to read the values as well. In the next video, we will be doing the delete and update operations. So we will be having one more video, right? So if you haven't watched the last video, make sure you watch that video first because I'll be continuing from there onwards. You can just tap on this I button and watch that video. Then you can continue with this video. So without much ado, let's get started. So guys, if you're new to this channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button and press the bell notification icon for same notification of the upcoming videos. And by the end of the video, if you like the video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button as well. So uh, this is the code that we have done in the last video. I hope that you guys also have written this code, right? And in the front end thing, I have just made this layout. It's really a simple layout. I have three input fields, right? For writing the data, first name, last name, roll number, and then we have a button on which we tap then the this particular data will be returned to our table then there is another input field that says roll number and we when we just tap on this button uh, there are three text views that that will get updated right so uh, i do not want to uh, code this front end part in this video because it will make a video way longer and this is not the prime focus of our video so if you want uh, you can uh, do it in your own way or i'll just put down the link to the source code you can just go there and copy this xml if you want to exactly copy this tutorial right so i've given these ids you can just see here so if you're doing it in your own way you can just give these these ids right so let's just uh, go to main activity so the very first thing we want to do is we want to get away with me view binding thing so private so we have done the view binding thing there is nothing to explain about this so the very first thing we are going to declare here is the reference variable for our database so we'll declare the variable here private latent number bar we'll name it as app db right so now we are going to create two methods uh, to read and write the data so the very first method will be write data and the second method will be read data so here whenever you use the taps on the write button and read button we want to call these methods so let me just quickly do that as well binding dot button write data so we want to call write data here and when the user taps on the data we want to call read data here right so let's just write the code here so we'll get the values from the input fields so for that we'll declare three variables first name so we have got all the three values here so after that we'll check if first name is not empty we'll make sure that all these three fields are not empty so we are going to create the object of our student class so well student is equal to student so we'll just pass the null for the id because it is auto generated id it will be automatically generated we'll pass first name last name and roll number here and we'll call this method to end because we want to convert it to a integer right so after that 
so after that we are going to call this global scope dot launch so inside this we'll call app db dot student dot dot insert and we'll pass the object here so basically what we have done is we have called this method insert right so you call this method and we pass the object of the student right so what it will do is it will pass uh, it will put all the values of this student to the table and after that we just want to clear all our input text fields and we can raise a toast right and inside else so we are done with our write data method we have got all the values then we have called the insert method to our app database reference variable right and we have passed the student here so for read method we just need the row number so well row number is equal to Roll number is not empty. Late in it were student of type student. Don't worry about this method we are just going to create this method so let's just create this as well private one. we have to make it a suspend function i guess private suspend function display data and what it will take is it will take the student object as a argument so with context to dispatches dot main will display the data binding dot tb first name dot text is equal to student dot first name the last name text right so we are done with the read data as well so what we have done we have got the value of the roll number that the user has input into that uh, any text fields right so you just check if it is not empty then we have called this method from the DAO. Let's find by roll number. So we have passed the roll number here. So in return, then again, we have called this from the coroutine because it is a suspend function and we want to do it in a background thread, right? So we have uh, referred to the database only student DAO dot find and then we have called the display data method that we've just created here so here we have we want to get the data from the background thread that's why we need to call dispatches dot main so it will be done in the coroutine scope uh, coroutine scope so we then set all the three fields with the object that will be written so i guess that is pretty much everything we need to do to implement this read and write operations so let me just quickly install this app to my emulator and see if it is working fine or not right so okay guys one more thing that we need to do is because our app was crashing we forgot to initialize our db so 
app db is equal to app database dot get database right and here we'll pass the context so okay now let me just quickly again install the app so okay guys the app has been installed now let me just open this app inspection so you can see no db instance no table is created so let me just put some data so michael jordan if i just put roll number one and press on write data so you can see the app database has been created and this is the student table if i just tap here michael jordan entry has been made so the write data operation has been successfully done now let us just read the data if i just type roll number one press this read data michael jordan one so we can successfully read the data as well so i guess we have implemented these two methods successfully now we can write the data to our table and read the data as well so i hope that you guys have understood the code but still if you have any doubt you can always ask me in the comment section or you can dm me on instagram the instagram username will be there on the screen right now and if you like the video make sure to hit that thumbs up button in case you're new to this channel make sure to hit that subscribe button press the bell notification icon for saving notification of the upcoming videos and that is it for today's video see you in another video bye